Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Help me with the rhyme. It's story time. It's story time. Shh. Listen. What's the story today? The dinosaur who lost his roar. You're going to have to help me do a big, loud roar in this story many, many times. I hope you're ready. Deep inside the forest lived a dinosaur named Sid. Roar! He always got in trouble for the noisy things he did. Spike was picking berries. Sid crept up like a cat. He let out such a mighty roar that Spike got covered splat. This wasn't funny, Sid, growled Spike. The juice went in my eyes. Enjoy your breakfast, Sid replied. Who else can I surprise? Ross was standing by the pool to see what he could catch. When Sid let out a mighty roar, poor Ross went tumbling, splash! I hope you like your swim, Ross. You'll dry out in the end. That wasn't funny, Ross replied. I thought you were my friend. Sid saw Ellie hunting eggs. He sneaked behind her back. He let out such a mighty roar. The eggs went flying, crack. An excellent surprise, laughed Sid. You just can't beat my roar. Hmm, Sid's not being very kind, is he? But when he went to bed that night, his throat felt rough and sore. The next day, Sid saw Spike again and went to play his joke. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a... <coughs> ha ha! Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Ross was balanced on a rock. Sid went to scare him off. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a... Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid tiptoed up to Ellie, but struggle though he might, no roar would come out, just a rasp. His throat felt oh so tight. <laughs> ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid spent a whole week getting well with honey and sweet tea. Oh, I wish I hadn't played those tricks. Now the joke's on me. Soon Sid felt fit to see his friends. I'll show them I'm not mean. But when he reached the berry bush, Spike could not be seen. Ross was missing from his pool. Sid sensed that things weren't right. He spotted scary footprints and gave him quite a fright. <gasps> Sid was getting worried. What would he come to next? Then came a shock behind a rock. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex! Sid hoped he had his voice back, but how could he be sure? He took the most enormous breath and gave a mighty... The T-Rex headed for the hills. Sid's pals were safe once more. Three cheers for Sid the hero. You're the greatest dinosaur. And what became of bad T-Rex? Well, he was seen no more. He just kept right on running, still scared by Sid's great Roar! I hope you enjoyed listening to the dinosaur who lost his roar. I hope you did lots of roaring with Miss Fran because I think you've got a bigger, louder roar than me. Bye!
that story was all about Sid, who had a special talent, which was to roar, but he wasn't using it in the right way to be a good friend. But then he decided to change his mind and he was going back to be a good friend to all his um, dinosaur friends. And in the end, he used his roar for good. Well done, Sid. He made some really good choices. Thank you for